Mars, Daphines, their children too. And their children forever true. What's going on YouTube, man? You niggas know how we rocking with it. Get your guns up, get your funds up. You know that op shit, get mob stick, bitch. But the best lightning man out here, man, destroy the elite faggots. And your leader faggot to Damon Fire, man. We back at y'all another video, bro. So tell me why. Starfield, in my opinion, is a very good game. I haven't finished it yet. I only got maybe like, at best, probably like two hours of play. Two full hours of play. It's, I mean, it's not what everybody says it was, and I understand that they marketed this game as the greatest game ever, which they probably shouldn't have marketed it that way, because greatest game ever is obviously very, sub, is very subjective, right, because my greatest game ever is completely different than, you know, everyone else's great greatest game ever. Which, you know, the, the bigger picture here is trying to get people to just buy the game. This is why it's free on um, Game Pass. It's designed to get all the other... Uh, it's designed to get the all the other publishers to be like, Oh my god, look what Xbox can do. Look what Microsoft done, did. And I'm like, you know, most people already have a Microsoft account. Like, you know, if you got a laptop, you probably got a Microsoft account. And if you're not, you know, Apple or something, which is probably the next thing that's going to really be a contender for Xbox. It's probably Apple is, is, is thinking about joining the gaming uh area and all that sort of stuff and things thinking about making their own console which would be interesting to see a apple console you know i might buy it give it a chance you know i, I hope it's not like stadia because that shit was trash stadia was garbage bro there's there's no like i i don't know like i feel a sense of like like, I feel good to just have a physical console. Like, it feels like it's mine. You know what I mean? It feel, and, and, but lately, you know, like, that's why I'm rebuilding my gaming library. It's because, you know, like, it feels like that a lot of games nowadays, people are, like, making things digital intentionally and it's behind a paywall. And you're only leasing it per se, you know, but Xbox, you know, is making it so that, you know, like, you could literally go to, like, like a, a retro game store or, or a random ass Goodwill somewhere, right, like, that has games or, you know, like, just like the YouTuber Jacob R, you know, go, just go to, goes to Goodwills and, He's like, you know, like, go, go, go in that bitch, look, look and see what games they have and build your library, you know, because you never know what's something to be worth one day, you know, look at the poke, look at the old Pokemon games like Platinum in there. the motherfuckers like two, three hundred dollars for, for a legit, copy of the game 
You know? And oh my god, bro. I know y'all had a laugh at the video before this. Uh, my opinion on um, Pokemon, uh, you know, like the recent Pokemon game. Man, bro, this. You know, I'll, I'll leave that there. But. We'll leave that dead, dead and gone, like them. Um. You know, but let's get back to Starfield. I, th I think it is worth worth playing if you got an Xbox. If you have a way to play it, just, just give it a try. I mean, you're into Bethesda games. You're into Skyrim or some shit, or you're you're into that sort of genre of game. It's it's worth playing. I think the reason he uses that because he thinks that someone's going to be overly aggressive and just run into his HP like it's a counter move. You know, hey bro. Not everybody gonna fall for that. Maybe if I was a a, a, a gun blade wielding squall player, I probably would fall for that like other gun blade wielding squall players that fell for my instant lightning strike. But it's kind of like, you know, like you can't Em, em, like emulate what I do with lightning with this character. This character's a vanguard and they're slow. Skills, you know, lightning strike is faster than every HP she has. You know, like if you're getting hit by that, you're bad. I mean, like you're getting ripped apart by Cloud of Darkness is using that that the anti-air particle beam. You, you, you're just dark, like, it's, it's like, side, side, sidetrack has been dissect this guy's gameplay. Like, he does three things outside of that big, that big ass final flash move you guys right there, right? He does like three things. He does neutral, he, he, he jumps and he does neutral. He try and, he, he hopes to catch overly aggressive people with, uh, you know, anti-air particle beam. And he does that when that yanks you to the wall. When, you know, usually when his back's to the wall. This would work better on a smaller stage for him. If this is if this how you want to play it. You know, you know, all vanguards are good on small stages. You know, instead of coming to this humongous stage here. That is, well, that's because he has marksman-like tendencies. Because he plays marksmen too. Mar marksmen need a lot of space to run away. But, you, know, some, you know, somebody somewhere is probably going to take that critique right there and just say that it's that it's, that oh man, you just being you just you just saying this, man. you just. You're talking shit. You're just talking shit. When that's what they're doing. Whining, complaining, and bitching in my comment section. Only to get your comment deleted and for me to forget who you are. Only for me to step over you like a stepping stone. Only for you to remain irrelevant. That's crazy. What did it bring you? Back to me. Except for this time, the snap went off. And that was it. That's a cryptic inside joke y'all not supposed to know about. But, um... Anyway, you know... I don't know how to say it. Like, it, feel, it, it feels good. The game plays good. I haven't ran into a single, uh... Glitch yet. I haven't ran into a single glitch yet. You know... Everything is just really good. 
It feels... I mean, I think a lot of people are taking for granted that the story of Skyrim is what really made that game very, very... Made, made the game feel really good. It doesn't feel like Skyrim or your ancient days, you know, like running around with a sword killing dragons. Because that's what, you know... That, you know, like, it's that sort of game. Like, everybody that game get off to that. But hell yeah, dragons, all different types of cold shit. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, dog. You know, I get to put a suit of armor on. We get to talk in old, in, in broken old English. And, bar there goes a dragon. Give me my cup of mead. And sing at a, a, a campfire. We drink to our youth, to the days coming on. The age of aggression. You know what I mean? That is, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, that 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 level of camaraderie. That level of, you know, like players are into that sort of shit. And it felt like it was before its time. Now, I haven't got that far into the game for those little, for those little nuanced sort of things. To really be like, man, I haven't found that yet inside that game, but, you know, I hear the story gets really crazy. Oh, my God. Now he's playing like a completely different player, but it's not going to really matter because he can't keep it up for too long. You know, it wouldn't matter no way because I'm trying to get him to the wall while not getting bullshit yanked to the wall. I told you that's not going to work. Uh, you know, you got the wrong HP on. The anti-air particle beam, I don't know why you have that equipped. I have no idea why that's on her. Um, it's like, maybe it's just me or that's like the worst HP. Other than the one where she warps to you and hits you. That one's really bad in my opinion. But, um, you know, I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people, because look at the, the way a lot of these games are. Like, we haven't need, like, it didn't need an update. Like, Cyberpunk needs an update. Well, needed, no, like, Cyberpunk needed a new game. That's how bad it was for Cyberpunk. That shit needed an entirely new game. I'm pretty sure, well, you know, I probably am being very, very early about it. It's probably going to be some things that motherfuckers going to need or say they need. You see how it, you see how it stopped working? Because now we get used to it. Nope. That, that one, as they say, one trick pony strat is not going to work, bro. You don't know enough about fighting. Nor can you adapt quick enough or change it up enough. You're not confusing enough, I should say. Um You know man, it is crazy. You know, if if you can't afford it, I I, I suggest it, you know. But you shouldn't just buy an Xbox for one game. Like I did it then I'll tell you why I bought my Xbox is to play play uh play uh Final Fantasy thirteen the whole trilogy and um with sixty frames a second. That's why I bought my Xbox. So I'm not I'm not ashamed to say it. Couldn't have gone better. You know? That's right, baby. You know, like I'm I'm not, I'm not afraid to say this shit. Some people bought the Xbox because you can play old, original, better Call of Duties when Call of Duty was at its best. You can play it like you like if you got your old Xbox disc, you can literally just buy buy an Xbox Series X and just go to like your retro video game store. And fucking just take that very disc, push it into the the disc drive. Not not you know, put just put it in the disc drive. I say I I say, I say shit in funny ways. 
But you know, just just take it. Just like you can buy Final Fantasy 13, the physical 360 disc, put that bitch inside of the Xbox, and it will work. If it don't work as a team, you're nothing. There are TikToks of jet of people just doing that. They, their minds are blown, bro. How, you know, it, it's meant to shit on PlayStation because how come PlayStation don't got backwards compatibility? You know? Why can't I go play Killzone on uh, my PS5? It will be a thing one day, but, you know. That's all the time we got for now. Now we'll catch up. Ready to let go, ready for the crush of the messenger. Too late for whispers, too late for the blush. The past is mercy when the future's low.